My most loved family, welcome to another one here on Truth and Love, the church with your brother Joseph. So in this video, you know, as always, this is one of the videos that gets us fighting, but it is important because we have to get the truth to you. And sometimes maybe the truth can be a bit up here to swallow. All right. So I uploaded a video where Prophet Angel was saying that, you know, no more fights, where he was talking about the new phase of his ministry. This is why God has given me a new mandate. Mm to move to higher dimensions higher dimensions the uber angel you used to know mm. that one is not there he was deep that one mm. this one is deeper deeper there is a change and a shift time will tell just watch watch the space watch. there is a deeper a deeper thing where we are going something higher a dimension unknown Mm. I spent time with my father, Pastor Chris. I was with you. Yes, spent time. Yes, sir. When they spent time with him. Yes, sir. And we would do hours and hours, just the two of us. Yes, sir. Praying, crying, singing, talking, discussing about God. Mm -hmm. And trust me, this is a different, a different quarter we're getting into. Just mm -hmm. completely different. Days of fighting are over. They are not in me. They are no longer in me. I don't find them. Mm. I don't want them. Ain't that beautiful, family? Okay, fine. Before we get into, you know, the topic of today, I just want you to first listen to these words from Prophet Makandiwa. They will mean a lot as we watch the video. When it comes to visions of the day where you have a man that you know can either close his eyes or open his eyes and he can see at any given moment. Mm. Yes, Prophet Jubit Angel, I've told you this several times. Yes, mm. So many, now people talk about hundreds and thousands of prophets. I have a way, my own way of interacting with gifts. Mm. If I'm not sure of what I'm seeing concerning you, there's one man that I can call now. And I say to him, talk to me about this man. I'm trying to help a gentleman here, but there is something that is not coming out clear. Can you share? And we put the phone on loudspeaker. <laughs> and then you can ask him any question, as long as it is the prophetic. You know, you don't come across such an eye. This we have to know. I'm very careful when I'm choosing connections. I, I tried that gift mm. myself. Mm. If you come today and you tell me that he cannot prophesy, <laughs> I'll look at you, <laughs> look at your face, look at your feet, look, look at your stomach. And <laughs> What is this guy drinking? <laughs> <laughs> you are surely drinking something. <laughs> so in this video, you know, I, I believe there's one drunkard, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> that you're going to be seeing. Because, you know, we remember I uploaded a video about Prophet Angel's prophecy concerning the South African elections, where it has never happened in 30 years for there to be a coalition government you know which is actually in the process of of happening in south africa and he saw this you know he gave a prophecy on the 8th of january and he also gave all those prophecies that we've been uploading you know me and other bloggers of course and we have this brother who's <laughs> coming here <laughs> sorry <laughs> <laughs> to say this at least there is going to be a move of taking a few things out you know where ANC is going to lose ground, so to speak. ANC is still the Judah of the house. If it is hope for you... Now, if you observe what he did here, he clearly stated that Jacob Zuma of the DA should relax. Why also um, Malema of EFF also should relax? And that ANC is the Judah. So basically, what I'm just trying to say is that this party, they should relax. There's nothing for them. This other party, they should relax. There's nothing for them. Then he now went ahead to say, what will happen to ANC is that there will be some kind of losing, losing of grounds. Okay. So this statement is not very specific because if he had 
gone ahead to say there's gonna be a coalition. Now you might want to disagree with me, but <laughs> oh my god, brother, stop. All right, you know, look at the prophecy here, which was given in January. Boys from South Africa with ANC. Don't play. It will still be a power in what is taking place. This thing will be taken as a coalition. <laughs> you know, I hate making videos like this, you know, but the bitter truth has to be known, right? You know, <laughs> I apologize for laughing. You know, my family, the brother is coming out to say that Prophet Angel, you know, he doesn't profess her, you know, he just works on probabilities. We can't really tell what statement was making, okay? Because some of these prophecies are good at making probability statements. <laughs> What is this guy drinking? <laughs> <laughs> you are surely drinking something. <laughs> so, you know, this was one of the funniest videos that I woke up to. You know, you sent me that link on Telegram and I just felt, you know, we just have to talk about this. You know, this individual, I remember there's a video that we uploaded where there was a former follower of Apostle Arume who was saying that they are being paid to make Prophet Angel to be a false prophet and all those things. Well, I believe this now proves that that guy who was saying those things, this now proves him right, you know, because each time there's a prophecy, this guy has come out to try to destroy prove it yet there have people like joel over there who give prophecies most of them are inaccurate but they never talk about them you know one advice that i'll just give you you know concerning um prophet angel you know my man of god pastor chris always says that you know he's one of the most remarkable prophets that we have in the church you know if you want to criticize him critique him in other areas maybe that can work but please the prophetic god actually gave him the grace to be in that office you can't do anything about that so i'll just leave you with this video of this brother's confession which has actually been proven right let's get into it like share comment and subscribe meet you in the next one as always god bless you he will say prophet you angel with his members his members with Arume's own people bloggers because i know for sure now i know Arume's bloggers I know the person I will peace. I personally know that person. He pays that blogger. Twitter lovers once posted them. They will pay bloggers to post and say that most of prophet the angel prophecies are cooked because why can't he release the prophecies during when he has his life service? Oh, those prophecies are not there. It's fake. There is this blogger called infine infine that's his name and he is actually he has a, a, a youtube channel called portal media infine is one of the bloggers that were paid he's actually a follower of arume osai and he actually worships in arume osai's church but one of the people who are paid to do the trendings to ridicule the man of god prophet you by angel down of his hard works and hard labors all this started especially when my Rocco did a video which he prophet you by angel happy birthday calling him a great prophet and which he is he got jealous he got jealous and came to his church with his people and spoke about Prophet Yuba Angel and Prophet Yuba Angel became the target. So he can use him to train them more. So Prophet Yuba Angel did what he did in Nigeria from the Holy Spirit and a lot of people were blessed. So they came back this infine the porter media came up to do his analysis oh the prophet is fake the prophet has done um stitch miracles as it was spoken by his spiritual father apostle arume osai who stood in ghana and ridiculed 
miracle money saying it's not from god it's not biblical it's not scriptural what scripture did he give no scripture but we are all oh it's not scriptural oh but there is a scripture that was given in the bible when the apostles when jesus told them to go and catch a fish and remove the coin that is called miracle money it is biblical he spoke words so scriptural backings he just spoke words and a lot of people not everyone some just few majority those who actually are for him arose oh he's fake um Kriba angel is fake he did fake miracle trying to analyze the power of god are we normal we want to analyze the power of god you cannot ascend in that dimension keep quiet when all these scandals came up Prophet Yuba Angel reacted from then as he reacted they started oh trying to to bring his videos I remember we reply Joel his son of Bede Prophet Joel of Bede will reply call him take call Prophet Yuba somebody who he was mentored who he went under submission Prophet Yuba Angel called him fit came to say my father in the lord apostle Mo Arume, like as if he was there with him from the beginning people just people are just up to say rubbish he wasn't with him from the beginning he was with you by angel which he was with them looked up to i am um, today to to our, our father in the in the faith apostle johnson suleiman looking up to all these people now turn with his father to call them fit if you check the porter's media look his videos from the beginning to the end you will realize that from the time these issues came up from then prophet Uber angel became the target that these are these are these are bloggers that have been paid if i you are paid i will say it you are under his ministry and you are paid because you know the benefit you get you may be thinking you're trying to fight the ministry you're trying to oh we are trying to kill in the church but you are trying to kill it everything you post is against prophet you by angel how we not seeing these things you are fighting a man that even a nation could not drag him down a nation drove him and a nation called him back you are fighting that kind of man how we how we how we why are we these dafts one thing i love about prophet by angel is that he's a man who, when he makes his mistake he admits it by then he made the mistake he admits to his thoughts that oh i made a mistake here by then i was still naive there was a man who at that time even before even before pastor chris he became very close to pastor chris at that time he would stand up he, would, he used to think of how he is he is he can prophesy more than pastor chris but when he got to that level which he had to understand god got her to rebuke him and he came up and said oh i used to think this way but now i no longer think this way that is a man of god and that's the man you want to bring down you cannot bring down that man no even if a nation cannot bring him down then one man you people cannot bring prophet you by angel down no matter how you do it you will never bring him down porters media porters media if i let them check this your video you are paid i know for sure you are tennis church i know you for sure if i is your name i know you how can you speak against pastor chris for your kilometer how can you speak against this kind of people how can you speak against tb joshua people who presidents call them on phone we are about to take this decision we are about to take this decision okay. what is the mind of god they cannot even do that to you but these are the people you want to bring down hmm? the real corporate here yeah, i know for sure the real one who is under them who goes to the same church who is paid really it is in fine the porters media this is the one if i made a video of prophet benja as one said it staging that he's staging or uh, he makes he posts fake um fake videos prophecies after that those are fake things because he doesn't post them early but we realized yesterday after the football match was played and ivy coast won nigeria we realized that professional had an online service 
put what's going on, but did not post it on social media platform with time he was releasing the prophecy. He was very skeptic. He didn't post it. But now later on, when Ivy Coast won, he posted it saying how he saw Ivy Coast um, fighting, struggle. he saw Nigeria, sorry, Nigeria struggling to win, to take over. And then he prayed that we may they take over, may they take over, may they take over. Why didn't he do that? Why has he now start adopting Prophet Jubei Angel's method of not posting videos, not posting prophecies? Why, 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 why? But is it not the same people who are paid in fine to pull down him? Is it not the same people who paid in fine to pull down Prophet Jubei Angel? But now they do the same thing. He gave a prophecy about football, about football. Last two years ago on Argentina and France, saying France will win, we all know France will win, then prayed for France. But at the end, Argentina won. That particular prophecy video was brought down in his platform turning. But this is somebody who spoke against the prophets. Oh, prophets who prophet by angel, prophet you, um, he's fake. Prophets who do prophecies about footballs are fake, but he did a prophecy about football. Are we daft? I've already spoke about his cryptos, wiki word, coin these, all those Ponzi schemes, Ponzi schemes, which he was doing. Wiki card, wiki card, wiki card, wiki card. Binance and Binance will go down. Kingdom coin all didn't come to pass. Brought them down. Yeah, I love his videos. I love prophecies. He brought them down a lot. He brought them down. May God open the eyes of some believers and let these believers be honest with themselves and tell their pastor that pastor, I love what you preach. I am for what you preach, but going to start attacking this man. I am not with you, sir. Please stay in the preaching. Let's preach.